Black patients waiting on a kidney donation could soon get a transplant up to two years earlier. That's thanks to a national policy change that removes a test previously used to determine eligibility after studies found it to be racially biased. Savannah Levins has a story tonight. To understand this change, let's go back to 1994, when a formula was developed to determine a patient's eligibility for a kidney transplant. The people that participated in this part of the study, they were about 14, 1,500 um, white patients and fewer than 200 black patients. Dr. Martha Pavlakis is the chair of the nation's transplant system. She says of that small sample size, the black patients had higher levels of creatinine, an indicator of kidney disease. So the test increased the creatinine threshold black patients had to reach to qualify for a transplant. They get run through that formula and anybody who's listed as black looks a little bit healthier and doesn't get on the transplant list until they're worse. It's known as the race variable, and it's been used ever since. Unfortunately, that approach has been rooted in our medical education, our protocols. The idea of using someone's skin color to put them in a box as if it has some genetic or physiologic meaning actually turns out to be potentially harmful. The average wait time for black patients on the transplant list in 2014 was 64 months, compared to 37 months for white patients. Even though black people are four times more likely to be diagnosed with kidney failure than white people. But a policy change now in effect has banned that test and instructs every kidney transplant program in the U.S. to credit affected black patients with time. You can't use a race variable. That's a mandate. All transplant programs in the United States have one year to inform everyone on the list that we're doing recalculations. Dr. Pavlakis said this change means black patients could get a kidney transplant one to two years sooner than before. For non-black patients on the list, does that potentially move them down or in the opposite direction? So the list is always fluctuating. My experience is that most people are in favor of a fairer system for everybody. If people have a sense that the system is racist, right, this, this will destroy faith in the system. Those notifications are still going out through the end of the year, but you can call your transplant center and ask how this will impact you. We have more info on 11alive.com.